is Gigi and Brayden. Say hi. Hi. Say what's up. What's up? We doing your hair today, right? No, we're doing right. Okay, that's right. So we're gonna do a hair tutorial today. And I'm just gonna show you guys how I do his hair. I washed it uh, two days ago and yesterday I let him wear it in an afro. It was all nice and curly, but I let him sleep with it. And now it's looking crazy. So I'm gonna show you guys how I moisturize it, how I get it going and how I'm gonna do his hair. I have some braiding and twisting grip glaze. So kind of like edge control, but it's, more um i guess safe for his hair because there's flax seed avocado oil black castor oil i like to use just for me products so we have natural hair milk and this is the natural hair milk and this is the hair milk detangler conditioner so the hair and scalp butter so it's like a grease first Let's get the leave-in detangler, okay? Spray that in his hair everywhere. Turn this way. Okay, turn back this way, Papa. He's not tender-headed. He's not going to cry. He might get irritated at me turning and pulling his head, but it doesn't hurt him. He sits still. There's no TV on. As you can see, he has no phone, nothing to keep him entertained except for his little peanuts. Hey, everybody. Little teddy bear that his auntie Tequa got him for Valentine's Day. So put that in it. Put some more. See, now his hair is thick, but if you guys could feel it, it's very soft. Okay, it's very, very soft, even though it's thick. Natural Hair Milk Curl Smoother. Little, little, little. Defines curls and controls frizz. So I've been using just for me products on him for quite some time now. Um, at first I was using different kinds of products, experimenting, seeing what works best. And I'm liking how this is working on his hair. His hair is always soft and tangle free. Oh my goodness. Thankfully, I'm doing this video to kind of help distract me from my cramp because, oh my gosh, they are at a 10 right now. They are just sky high. Like, you guys just don't know how bad it's really hurting me. Look, he got quite a ponytail there, huh? Yeah, my baby got some hair on him. I'm going to section it. I'll turn him around so you guys can see which it is that I'm doing. I'm going to section it. Put this part up here into the ponytail comb brush. Put your head down. Thank you. He listens well to my direction to Now his hair is moisturized, but I don't want it soaking wet because then it's going to be hard for me to grip it. It's just going to slide out my hands. So I don't like it to be soaking wet when I'm going to braid it or something. But if I was having his hair to be curly, I would soak it up and you guys would see the curls coming out. You can put your head up, Papa. So here we go. It's combed out. Now I'm just going to do that to the rest of his hair. Just comb it out. I like to start from the ends and go up because if you just start from the roots and comb, you're going to rip, pull, and hurt the hair. You're going to pull the hair out. So it's best to start from the ends and work your way up. So that way when you do get to the roots, it should just slide on through easily just like that.
the tip of this comb is not really um, sharp. The parts are probably not going to be super straight. Now we're going to take the hair and scalp butter, okay? This is what it looks like. Just completed this side. Braiding and twisting glaze. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay, now that I have both braids in the middle, put your head down for a sec. Come all the way. See? All right. Now I'm going to get to this side here. I'm going to take the um, hair and scalp butter, twist that all through his hair. I'm gonna get some braiding and twisting grip glaze. I have about that much. And I'm just gonna put it right here on the edges. going to take all of these braids and I'm going to braid them into one and then I'm going to take an elastic hairband Tuck it in, tuck the braid in, and take the hairband and just put it over just like that. Okay, and so now we have the back is done. Now for the front, somebody is sleepy. Usually after I do his hair, I hype him up, let him know how handsome and how cute he is, and I tell him to go look at himself in the mirror.
All right. Oh, uh, yucky him. Now I'm going to go look at himself in the mirror. Here we have it. Oh, you handsome. Right now, he has an attitude that's totally a fake smile. I don't know what his problem is, but he looks super handsome, super cute. Mommy love it.